Hey, did you hear the one about the Tesla Model S that caught fire? If you have heard the news, you've probably seen this cell phone video showing a Tesla Model S engulfed in flames on the side of the road just outside of Seattle. There's a lot about this incident that I feel was misreported by the news media, and so I'd like to cut through some of the assumptions and false conclusions and get straight to the facts. Here's what we know about what happened. A Tesla Model S traveling at highway speeds struck a large metal object which caused significant damage under the vehicle. The onboard alert system detected a critical malfunction and advised the driver to pull over immediately. The driver was able to safely stop and exit the vehicle completely uninjured when he saw smoke and eventually flames coming from underneath the vehicle. Firefighters were able to put out the fire with a combination of water and chemical extinguisher. Since there were no injuries, there is no planned investigation by firefighters or law enforcement. So there are a few points about this incident to keep in mind. The large metal object that struck the vehicle turned out to be a piece of a semi-truck trailer. And because of the angle of the collision, it actually pushed the object straight up into the vehicle with a maximum force of about 25 tons. And this caused a puncture in the quarter inch steel armor guarding the battery. Though punching holes to expose the source of the flames is standard firefighting procedure, it's actually not advisable to puncture the firewall of the Model S. And unfortunately, this action by the firefighters caused flames to vent upwards into the hood of the vehicle. In his email correspondence with Tesla Motors, the driver expressed no dissatisfaction with either Tesla or the Model S and recognizes the fire as a freak accident that would have been difficult to foresee. In following with standard company policy, Tesla Motors provided the driver with a loaner Model S vehicle while his damages are being assessed. Based on the damage done to the vehicle, it's unclear whether Tesla Motors actually plans on repairing the vehicle or providing the driver with a replacement. And I'd imagine that Tesla would like to keep that vehicle and study it for any future safety enhancements. So what do you think, based on the facts that we have so far about this incident? Would you feel safer driving around in a conventional vehicle? Remember, that means you'll have about a 12 gallon tank of gasoline directly behind you in the trunk versus driving around in an EV like a Model S that has an array of lithium ion batteries underneath. Which feels safer? Which feels more dangerous? I'd really like to hear your opinion. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Also, you can help me out by clicking the like button on this video and also by subscribing to my feed. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.